بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد the importance of the prayer in Islam cannot be overemphasized ever because the salat the prayer it is the wasila or the means to contact your lord communicate with allah tabarak wa ta'ala knowing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees you knowing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears you and has full knowledge of everything and he created everything created the heavens and earth that helps your prayer helps you focus during your salat realizing that actualizing that through the salat through the prayer as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith of jibril alayhi salatu wasalam when he was asked about ihsan what is ihsan what does that mean the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded by saying in ta'budullaha ka'annaka tara ka'annaka tarahu fa in lam takun tarahu fa innahu yarak Ihsan, it is to worship Allah as if you see Him. And the fact that you can't see Him, know that He sees you. فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees us. He hears us. And he is over all things omnipotent and able. The master of everything. Rabbil Alameen. So keeping that in mind, that when you have that opportunity to pray to Allah, Tabarak wa Ta'ala, especially the obligatory prayers, that you should strive your utmost as men to fulfill that in the masjid to pray in the mosques in the in the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there are so many ahadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which show us and tell us the importance of praying in the masjid for the believing men striving our utmost and in the authentic hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam عن عثمان بن عفان رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول من صلى من صلى العشاء في في جماعة كأن فكأنما قام نصف الليل ومن صلى الصبح في جماعة فكأنما صلى ليلة كله رواه مسلم 
in this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the hadith of Uthman, Uthman ibn Uthman, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, who said. That I heard the message of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Say Whoever prays Isha The last prayer In jama'ah You know as, as a congregational prayer In congregation It is if It is as if He prayed half The night And whoever prays The Fajr prayer The morning prayer in jama'ah, in congregation. It is as if he prayed the whole night. And this is collected in, in Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet wasallam, it doesn't require much explanation. But it shows us the greatness and the reward of praying in jama'ah. Don't leave off this great duty. Even if you can't make it to the masjid, try to pray in the jama'at with your family or with other believers. Wherever you may be, if you're in the barber shop, whatever, if you're far from a masjid or what have you, try to establish the congregational prayer when you have that opportunity. Don't fail to get that. Because the reward is great. The reward is greater than when praying alone, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, 27 times, another narration 25 times, letting us know that it's Azim. Don't allow for yourself to miss that important favor from Allah, the important blessing and na'mah and ajr and reward and coming closer to your Lord because all of it is ibadah and that's the way the believer communicates with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala through the Salat and through all the other acts of Ibadah but especially the prayer and especially through supplication and we ask Allah the Almighty to grant us good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct was from Allah anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and the Shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam